What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with the Ghost Horse on the rank ladder. We got ourselves a Spectre ranked team for you guys today. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I mentioned, we're using Spectre today. And not too long ago, I used Glacier, its Ice Horse counterpart. And that Pokemon was absolutely phenomenal within the Trick Room. This Pokemon is a bit faster than Glacier. It's more of like the, the faster, so it works outside of the Trick Room. And I think it's gonna be really, really strong. We got the choice scarf on it, and I think it can really thrive out and come in clutch, especially as a back end Pokemon. But this team is phenomenal, got a lot of meta Pokemon. Hopefully, we get the rock out with it and grab you guys some wins. Shen Pal is gonna be our first Pokemon in today's team preview with Swords of Ruin and Focus Ash. Moveset is standard it's Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, Sacred Sword, and Protect. The best moveset, the best build for Shen Pal is this one right here. We got Amoongus in our second slot, another Pokemon that you guys see all the time. So I really do not even wanna go over it. It's there if you guys wanna check it out. Like I mentioned, we used it hundreds of times already in Scarlet and Violet. In our third slot, we're rocking out with Heatran. Heatran is phenomenal in Regulation D. Its stats are amazing. Its typing is amazing. It's got Flash Fire, Assault Vest, Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Terror Blast. In our fourth slot is the best support Pokemon in the game at the moment. It is Prankster Tornadus. With Covert Cloak as item, Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm, Taunt, and Protect. Another moveset that you really just can't go wrong with. In our fifth slot, we are using the Dark and Fighting Urshfu. A lot of people have been using the Water Urshfu, including myself, but this time, in today's video, we're rocking out with the other Urshfu. It's got Unseen Fist Hit Through Protects, Choice Ban as item, Close Combat, Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, and U-Turn. Final Pokemon is going to be Spectre. I cannot wait to use this horse because I haven't even used it in Casual yet, so rocking out with him in rank should be a fun one. It's got Grimne, the Choice Scarf as item to outspeed pretty much any Pokemon. Then it's got Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, Mudshot, and Will-O-Wisp. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on at rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Spectre team. First match is coming at you guys, and we got ourselves a tough one here. This one's looking tough, and it's always tough going up against Trick Room teams. They got Hat Arena set Trick Room. They got Gudra. They got Ursaluna for Trick Room purposes. This is a problem. This is a problem. They also have Amoongus rocking out with Torkoal and Hisuian Lilganth. I really want to go into Tornadus here. We could taunt. We can get some work done with that. So I really do like that Pokemon. I also want to go into... I definitely want to bring Heatran. Right? I definitely want to bring Heatran. But who else do I want to lead here? Because the problem here is going to be... Either they set up Trick Room. They either go Amoongus and... Oh, yeah, they might go Amoongus Hatterene. It's either they go Amoongus Hatterene or they go Torkoal and Logan. So I'm trying to figure out, like, a lead that can kind of counter both. Oh, this is, this is just tough news. This is tough news. Um, hmm. What is the play? What is the play? I don't really know. I think I got to bring my Amoongus. Just let him set Trick Room and kind of get after it that way. Mm-mm-mm. Actually, I got this. I got this. We're going to go into Heatran here because if you Rage Powder, we can Thrasalize. And you know what? We're just going to do this. We already outspeed. We're not even going to go for a taunt. We're going to do this. And we're going to go in with... We're going to go We're gonna go in with Urshfu, Spectre, and last but not least, Shen Pao. We're going to lock it in, lock it down. I'm kind of thinking they're going to go for that lead, right? They're going to go for, I think, Hatterene alongside Amoongus. Maybe try to Rage Powder out. But at that point, I could Thrasilize, lock out the Rage Powder, and send a nice big move into the uh, Hatterene slot. But if they go Torkoal and Lilganth, we are Flash Fire, which is really good. And there's Hatterene and Amoongus. So Hatterene and Amoongus coming out here. Um, we got Urshifu. And what do I want to choice into? Do I want to choice into a Sucker Punch? Kind of, a little bit, not really though. But yeah, I'm going to Thrasilize. And I'm going to throw this right down in that slot. And then from here, I could U-turn out maybe into like Spectre or something. Or I could just stay in here and start popping big time moves. Maybe like, like Wicked Blow. I get down with that. I could definitely get down with that. So, you know what? I'm going to throw a Wicked Blow into the Hatterene slot. He wants to Rage Powder me. You can Rage Powder me all day. But I'm Thrasilizing. I'm hoping Hatterene doesn't Thrasilize. And we can really get after it that way. Because that's got to be his play, right? It's got to be Rage Powder to protect the to protect the Hatterene. So, I'm hoping it's not Sash. I'm hoping it's not Thrasilizing. And we just send a nice little Flash Cannon right down into its nose. Right into its mouth. And we get rid of it. So, let's see what they do. They're Thrasilizing. Let it be Amoongus. Let it be Amoongus. Let it be a Moongus. Oh no, it's not a Moongus. Oh no, it's a fire type. 
Hatterene. Now somebody's going to sleep. Problem. Like I said, this match is going to be a problem. So I was coming from a mile away. There's the Rage Powder. Our Flash Cannon still goes that way. Kind of hurts soul. And they are going to be able to pop trick no problem. But Wicked Blow is going to fly here. That's a nice chunk of damage. We like that damage. We do like that damage, but we're not doing much here. We're really going to not be able to do too much here. We do about 5 damage instead of 5,000, and Trick Room is here. Ah, uh, so he's gonna put my Urshifu to sleep. I wanna hard swap into somebody else, kind of, but... Oh man, we're gonna go into Earth Power here. We're gonna go into Earth Power, I am choosing a Wicked Blow, and I guess we'll, we'll stay here, but Urshifu's going to sleep. And I really don't wanna swap into another Pokemon here. So, I'm just gonna try to get after the Hatterene. Really hurts, man. Really hurt Trick Room. Should have brought her a Moogus of her own, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. So there goes Earth Shoot, Night Night. You should not be able to spawn Trick Room. It's just, it's just too much. Combine is going to come out here. Um, Okay. That's actually a big time play. Hatterene's going to get the special defense boost alongside with special attack boost. Can we just crit this thing and get rid of it? That'd be huge. Nope. No crits today. No crits for us. Earth Shoot is slumped. At least not some of these turns. Um... I'm just going to go for another Earth Power. And this thing is definitely just taking me out, correct? Do I want to hard swap and maybe Spectre? Now we're going to stay in. We'll stay in. That's fine. We're just going to have this thing go down. So Earth is going to drop out of here. Pollen Puff comes out of here. That's no good. That's no good whatsoever. That's going to the KO Urshfall, but it's four times weak to fairy. That's why I was thinking to swap him, but I didn't, like, I didn't really have any great options to swap into. Can we just crit this thing, please? Can we just get a crit on this thing? Come on, I need crit. Can we get the defense drop? No, we do not. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Do I want to do? I mean, maybe just protect. Yeah, start wasting out these trick room turns. These turns must be wasted out. So I'm gonna go Shen Pao. We still have Spectre in the back end, which could definitely clutch up for us. And how many turns left in this trick room? Two. So from here, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of Amoogus. I'm not dealing with that thing, and I'll protect here. Just so I can't put my Shen Pao to sleep next turn, maybe I can get off a big time sucker punch. We'll see. It's getting ugly. It's getting real ugly. Just a problem. Just a problem. So we'll protect the Shen Pao. We'll see what he wants to do. Maybe we should have Heat Wave last turn. Let's get rid of Amoogus. But he's going to go for the Pollen Puff here. And I get the block. I get the big time block. So the big time block comes out here. What are you going for? We're going to go for another Dazzling Gleam. Uh, Heat Train. You eat this up, correct? Don't make me be disappointed in you. Eat it up all day. That's why I love you. That's why I love you. Heat Wave's going to fly here later, man. Let's get that thing on out of here. I'm not dealing with it. Okay, so from here, I could definitely finish off Hatterene with a Sucker Punch. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. So, big time protect. We're wasting out the Trick Room slowly. I think Light Nurse if we die out was a good call by me. Goo just gonna come out here. Luckily, we do have special attackers here that can actually do work on through it. So, from here, you know what? We're just gonna do this. I know that Sucker Punch... Actually, no. Sucker Punch is neutral. I was going to say, it's not very effective, but it's neutral. So, yeah, I think we should be pretty good here. I mean, Hatterene could protect, but we have Focus Ash, so if it protects, my Shen Pao's still not dying. Now I'm going to go for this nice, lovely Sucker Punch. We should be able to finish him off. Beautiful. Earth Power's going to fly into the Gudra. This thing might shelter up, but if it does, it does. It's not that big of a deal. Like I said, I have, I have a few good special attackers ready to roll. Are you sheltering? Oh, he's going for a straight Flash Cannon. Can you eat this? You can. I love you. Still, so, special defense is rather high, too. But I like that damage. Give me a defense drop. There it is. Finally, we get the defense drop. Special defense drop. That's big time. I think maybe another Earth Power can now KO. But Trick Room's gone. We wasted it. All the turns are gone. We have Choice Scarf Spectre in the back end. And like I mentioned in the beginning of today's video, I said this Spectre is going to be awesome for uh, back end purposes late game. So, Ursula Luna now comes out here. Um. I think I still throw an Earth Power in this slot. And, you know, I'm going to double down in the Gudra. I think Ursula Luna has a shot at protecting. I, I just think we cleaned this one up, right? 
Ursulina, I, I think, protects. Yep, cool. So we double down to Gudra here. Making lovely plays, we'll finish this Pokemon off, no problem. That's gonna be game. We're not even gonna need Spectre, even though I really wanted to use it. But I'm just too good right now. Starting things off hot here. Doubling down to Gudra, reading that easy protect. And now it's just wraps, right? It's wraps. It's wraps all day, because uh, Shen Pao's gonna do absolutely murk into this thing. Might not KO it, because it is rather bulky, but I wouldn't be surprised seeing if it KOs it. But actually, yeah, we're fine. We get, we get, these are cancel battle. They do not cancel battle. Ice Spinner comes out of here. Does that much damage, and now he Chan says, Hey, yo, I'll get the last laugh. And this is why I love having that Grass Terror Blast on this thing. A lot of people rock protect. Grass Terror Blast is awesome in certain situations. But there it is. First match, we killed it. We wasted out the Trick Room. Beat a tough team. Didn't get to use Spectre, but we'll get it going in this next battle. Second match is on its way, and we got another tough battle for us. We're going up against a lot of meta Pokemon with Tornadus, Reggie Draco. That's a big time combo. They also have Fluttermane. They're rocking out with Urshifu, Heatran, and Wo Chen. I think Spectre is going to be a solid lead. If they lead a Pokemon like Reggie Draco, we do have the Fairy Terror type on this thing, which I absolutely love. So we can go into that and kind of get after the battle that way. So I'm down to lead Spectre. In the second first slot, I might want to just go to and play this one simple. Or I could go into a Pokemon maybe like Amoongus or something like that. Or even Urshifu. I think Urshifu Shen Pao is more of a back-end Pokemon here. Which I really like. So you know what? We're going to go them too. We are going to lead these guys. And we'll get after it that way. If they want to lead physical attackers such as Urshifu. Which is like the only physical attacker on the team. I could just throw a burn onto it. Could be a really big time burn onto it. Um, yeah. I like it. I like it. So we'll see who they want to lead. We shall see. I wish we did have a nice little Fairy Terror Blast. But... Not the way the cookie crumbles right now. But they're going to go Tornadus and Rage Draco. So yeah, I'm going to Terrasilize here. I am going to Terrasilize. The horse is getting some love. So I'm just going to choice into a Shadow Ball. At the same time, Terrasilize. That's my play. And <coughs> and from here, I think we just set up a Tailwind, right? We match for Tailwind energy, right? Tailwind for Tailwind. Best bet. My speed should be max. Yeah, my speed is as high as it could possibly get. So if he wants to taunt me... That could be a possibility, but they would have to win a speed tie. So I'm going to Thrasilize, Spectre. I'm going to pop a nice little Shadow Ball. Get off the Tailwind. If Tornadus dies from this, Tornadus dies. But at this point, Spectre is going to outspeed. Spectre is going to outspeed Reggie Draco. So if he wants to go for a Dragon Energy after we hit it with a Shadow Ball, it's not going to do the full damage, but it's still going to do a decent chunk on me. So Tailwind comes out from me. Are they Tailwinding as well? We could have taunted. We could have, but I wasn't relying on the speed die. The double tailwind comes out here. Spectre will outspeed this Reggie Draco. And we'll get off some nice damage. Chunk it up. I know this thing's really bulky. And oh my lord. That was a lot more than I thought. And he ends up going for a Draco Meteor. Smart play by him. I'll give it to him all day. I thought it was Dragon Energy. Smart play. But still, I'll take that. I'll take that. 10 times out of 10. So from here, we could go into Shen Pao, and I think Shen Pao is our best bet, correct? Yeah, Shen Pao is definitely our best bet, because we have Choice Ban on Urshfu. I really don't want to step into the battle and Choice Urshfu into the move already. Plus, Spectre can just take out Regis Draco, and on top of this, Shen Pao can get rid of... Can get rid of what's called. We're not honest, and I think you're faster than him, correct? You are, you are. I love it, I love it. So, nice big speed for us. We're going to go into the Ice Spinner. He could end up Thrasilize. He could end up Protecting. But I, I really like where we're sitting here. Reggie Draco is going to Protect. That's fine. I'll get rid of you next turn then. You're gone next turn. Spectre is going to be fastest on the field. Never mind. Spoke too soon. <laughs> I was going to say Spectre is going to be fast on the field no matter what. But they just scary face me. And are you sashing? You're not sashing? You just do that? That's real bad. That's real bad. Um, I think we still go for Shadow Ball. I think we're fine. Do I want to go into Sucker Punch? A little bit, but not really. I say we just stick with this, uh... Actually, I could just Ice Spinner. There's a Draco. Hmm. Do we think Sucker Punch can KO? Actually, let's do that. I think Sucker Punch can KO. I'm just gonna Sucker Punch just in case someone scary face me. It does not scary face me. And Sucker Punch KOs. Cool. So we get rid of you. He's not Sucker Punching. 
Or he's not uh, scary facing. Oh no, you were. And it doesn't affect me. That's cool. Dark types rule. So now Shadow Ball is flying. Spectre is still getting done some work. I might hard slot Spectre depending on who the last two Pokemon are. I'm kind of go from there. But do I even have to now? I got that special attack boost. I love Grim Day. Get a little nice little boost. It's pretty much Moxie. Get a nice little special attack boost every time you pick up a KO. So Fluttermane flies out here. Um, oh, I got Sash. I say we just stay in with you. Mm, that Pokemon's a little scary. We don't need to deal with that. But Urshifu can, can, can get some work done on that. So I like that. So they still have Terra. We do not. Uh, Shadow Ball is going to be your play. I'm going to Shadow Ball into this thing. And do I Sacred Sword? I don't want to. Or do I just attack Fluttermane? I'm just going to double down on Fluttermane here. I don't see Fluttermane protecting. I think Fluttermane comes in here guns are blazing, right? I think it's all about Fluttermane here. And Terrasalize Heatran. You know what type of Straight Grass. That's a little odd. That's a little odd, knowing that I'm an Ice type. Right? It's a little weird. And now we're just attacking Fluttermane. So I get to go first. Big time damage. Almost KO. That's where things gonna fly here. We are gonna sash up, which is big time, and sh and Spectre should be faster than Heatran. So this Shadow Ball should take out Fluttermane, and then Urshifu should be able to win this match. And ooh, I'm not, I'm not faster. I thought I would be able to outspeed Heatran, even minus two. It's all good. We end up dodging Heat Wave. Shadow Ball is gonna fly. We get rid of Fluttermane, and like I said, Urshifu can finish off this uh, Heatran by himself. So we're thriving. We're thriving. Match number two, getting Spectre out there. Running it up, going 2-0. We went 3-0 in the last video, so in the past five battles I'm recording, we're 5-0. I'm, I'm not speaking too soon. I know we got this one on lock. This one is in a bag, in a bag, in another bag. Like, five bags. Like, when you go to the grocery store and, like, you see the bag kind of, like, about the rip because the gallon of milk's too heavy. And you're just like, hey, yo, uh, dude, doing the bags. Put another bag in there. That, that's that's what we're doing here. So we got a bag on a bag here. It's in the bag. <laughs> but we're just gonna go into Shadow Ball. We are gonna go. Do I have choice in a U-turn? Would that do more damage? Yeah. Uh no. Close combat would do the most damage. Actually, this might. I would think I'd rather just go Wicked Blow. It will do more damage than U-turn. U-turn's only doing 140. This is stab. Uh, and it's a crit. You know, we're just gonna go into Wicked Blow. U-turn actually might do more than Wicked Blow, but Heat Wave's gonna fly here. Spectre survives. Give me the bag in a bag here. Look at that. See you later, and then Spectre clutches it up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Told you guys, in a bag. Very, very simple. 2-0 to get things started. Third and final battle coming up next. Spectre is eaten in today's video. Third and final match coming at you guys, and I believe, is this the Sneasler team I showcased? I believe it is. I believe it is. I'm kind of scared of it because Rillaboom Sneasler is the real deal. But I got Spectre on my side. We're 2-0. We already guarantee ourselves a winning record. I kind of want the perfect record, especially if we're going up against a viewer. It might be a viewer. Maybe, maybe not. I did not make this team. I just got it off the internet. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it's a viewer. If you are a viewer, you shout to you, my guy. But, uh, hmm, who are you going to lead? Rillaboom Sneasler, definitely a big-time option. Uh, we do have Covert Cloak on you, so I'm kind of digging and going into both of these. Fake out will not work on any of these guys, so I love this lead. I love this lead. And then in the back end, gotta go in with the squad, right? Gotta go in with Urshifu and Shen Pao. It's an absolute must. Especially with Chris Selya on the field. We will be super effective onto it with the dark moves. It's big time. It is big time, so I like it. I really do like this lead. I actually love this lead. Kind of hoping they go for a fake out users. Right? Because Covert Cloak and Ghost type, mwah, it's lovely. It is just gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Hmm. If you guys do hear a lawnmower, I guess my neighbors are cutting the grass or something. They're going to get it after this. Don't they know I'm recording? But if you guys do hear a lawnmower, my neighbors are cutting their lawn. Right right, right along my, my window. Because like, our houses are like pretty close together. So they're just coming in right next to the window. Like, Come on, man. It's recording time. I'm recording for the community, man. And they just got to turn on the lawnmower and it's like five o'clock it's like the worst time to cut a lawn right people getting home from work all that stuff it's like dude come on man knock that off i'll, I'll have to have a word with them I'll, I'll let them know that you guys said something but they end up going roll boom they go gudra uh ch -ch 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 hmm. 
Fake out, I'm cool with. Uh, I could choice into a mud shot here. I could actually end up taunting you. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna taunt the Gudra. I really don't feel like dealing with the Gudra. I'm gonna taunt the Gudra, and you know what? I might just throw burns across the board. Burn on the real boom. Yeah, I'm gonna choice into will o -Wisp. That's my play all day. I'm gonna choice into will o -Wisp. Just start throwing burns on burns on burns. So I'll burn real boom. It might U turn out. You never know. I'm kind of hoping it goes for a fake out. Just waste a turn, and then we will taunt the Gudra. So the Gooey Gudra is getting taunted. I do not want a shelter setting up. It's just, it's just not a time for that. Willowis is going to land, which is gorgeous. I'm gonna put a big time burn on him. He's not going for a fake out, but probably going for a knockoff. Are you gonna knock off my scarf? You are gonna knock off my scarf. Thank you, actually. I don't want my scarf anymore. And he's trying to go for shelters. Yeah, I don't, I don't want my scarf anymore. So Burn's gonna chunk him up. Um, we could just go for Bleak Storm now. Which I kind of like. And... I might just hard swap if we're going for knockoff. Hmm, I really don't want him knocking off all my items. But I could just go into Shen Pao. I mean, you should outspeed Spectre, correct? You should outspeed Robin, right? Yeah, you're 182. I could end up just doubling down into him. Now, if Spectre dies, Spectre dies. I'm not too worried about that. Or I could Terra and keep it for another turn. I'm just gonna go into Gujo with Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball's gonna fly. You can't even see Spectre on the screen. They, they still haven't fixed the camera angle. Deacon Storm's gonna double land. And we're gonna get some damage off on the Robin, which is huge. So Robin's gonna take some damage. Probably gonna take out my Spectre here. We do get the speed drop, which is huge. And Heavy Slam's gonna fly. Ooh. Ooh, and that KOs me. Kinda hurts. I was kinda hoping we could soak up the Heavy Slam. And whatever move Roll Boom was gonna go into was probably going after Tornadus. It's just gonna knock off my Curve Clip. That's, that's fine. So actually, I, I'm, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with where we're sitting. Because now from here, I bring out Shen Pao. I look to get off as much damage as I possibly can on the Gudra and hope to land a Bleak Windstorm to finish off Roll Boom. And then we got Urshfu in the back end. The Spectre is nice. Spectre is really good, especially for the speed and burn and physical attackers. I feel like this team just really thrives well. Well, Tornadus, Urshifu, and Shen Pao really go well with any Pokemon. But still, Spectre is really nice. I like it. So, we go into another Bleak Windstorm. He's still taunted, correct? Let me let me make sure this <laughs> this Gucci is still taunted. I believe it is. Yeah, it's taunted for another turn. And we'll go into a Sacred Sword into the Gucci side. Just look to take it out. Actually, is Ice Spinner super effective on that? I don't think it is. I think it's neutral. That's why I want to go for Sacred Sword. Plus, I think we should be with KO. So let's see how this one plays out. He's going to end up withdrawing the really real. Really really boom gets the withdrawal. And he's going to gonna go into Urshfu from there. But now might be a good time for us to set up a Tailwind next turn. And I'm actually surprised you're going into Urshifu. No one I'm going for Bleak Wind Storms. Who's dodging? Which one you dodge? Gudra dodges. That kind of hurts, but we get rid of Urge for so that. That works well, because that could have been a big time double kill. But that was a bad swap. A real bad swap. A real bad swap. They go into Heavy Slam. I'd focus Ash regardless. And we're chilling. We are chilling. They're probably going back into Robin, right? I had to guess. And maybe looking to fake out, right? Yeah, so Real Boom's gonna come back out here. Uh, what is my play? What is Shen Pao's Terra? If it's Ghost, I might go into it. Oh, it's not Ghost. Come on. What's that about? And I'm just gonna taunt the Gooch again. I just don't wanna set it up. I'll protect you. I just, I just don't want him setting up. That's my, that's my, that's my one thing. We protect the Shen Pao, we let the fake out pass, we taunt the Gudra, make sure it doesn't set up, and then I feel as my two Pokemon Shen Pao and Urshfu can really clean up this battle. We'll see though, we'll see. Fake out's always annoying. So protect the Shenny. Hopefully they fake it out. And they do. Beautiful, lovely, cool. And they might double down into him. They just might double down. I'ma keep this Gudra taunted, that's really what I want. We'll keep this thing taunting all day. And is she going for shelter? Yeah! <laughs> Big time turn. Big time turn. Okay, so I'm hoping this Bleak Wind Storm's gonna land. Really what I'm aiming for. 
And I'm going to go for another Secret Sword into Gudra Slot. Let's play. Burns chunking up Rillaboom. Lovely. Lovely. Imagine if Rillaboom still had Grass God like it did in Sword and Shield. Oh my god, it'd be so good. But, th but thank the Lord it doesn't, you know? Because then it'd just be OP. I think it's in a good position. I think taking Grass God away from Rillaboom was perfect. Because it's still very, very good. I love its moves. I love the versatility that you can use with it. You get the fake out, you get the terrain control. Just having Grassy Guide on it was just too OP. Because it can already set terrain, allowing it to hit with Grassy Guide, which is like insane. Which is absurd. So we end up taking out the Gudra. Big time taunts onto that thing. I was just not allowing that thing to set up. And then can we land a Bleak Wind Storm? Cool. See you, the little boom. Little boom is gone. And yo, another 3 0 record? Come on, man. That's too easy. All my members. All my members. Give it to me in the comment section down below. Throw some LeBron James emotes out there. Come on, man. That's too easy. If you guys are not a member and if you guys want to become a member, there should be a join button next to the subscribe button. But if it's not there for you guys, don't worry. I got you guys with a link down in the description below. Seriously, definitely consider becoming a member. Help support me as a content creator. It really does go a long way. Plus, you get a bunch of channel perks. They bring out Sneasler. We're just going to start attacking. Battle was canceled. 3-0. That's too easy. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 3-0 with the Spectre team for ranked battles. This team is stacked, has a lot of meta Pokemon. You got Urshfu, Tornado, Shen Pao, main core right there that do absolute work. And then you got Amoogus, Heatran, and last but not least, that Spectre, which absolutely showed out in today's video. Loved it so much. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.